I promise you I'll be to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Between half and three-quarters of all women report that they have faced some form of sexual harassment in the workplace. And too often, they're denied a voice and a fair chance to do anything about it. Today, we send a clear and strong message that we stand with you for safety, dignity, and for justice. Forced arbitration is in court. In fact, forced arbitration prevents survivors from going to court. And under forced arbitration proceedings are conducted in secret, often by arbitrators selected and paid for by the employer. And the outcomes of the arbitration are usually hidden from the public and the employees and coworkers, and they usually can't even, uh, and they can't be appealed or can't be overturned. In some arbitration clauses, you can't even acknowledge that you're bringing the claim. So when it comes to sexual harassment and assault, a forced arbitration shielded uh, perpetrators and silenced survivors enabled employers to sweep episodes of sexual assault and harassment under the rug, and it kept survivors from knowing if others have experienced the same thing in the same workplace at the hands of the same person. And yes, there will be cases where victims want their claims resolved in private, but some survivors will want their day in court. And that should be their choice and nobody else's choice. But look, folks, this is, I think, a momentous day for justice and fairness in the workplace. And for those who experience sexual harassment or assault, you're going to have the right today that you did not have yesterday. And that's good news.